The National Study of Learning Mindsets is an experiment to test the effects of a mindset treatment in a national representative sample of high schools. If you look at the federal data sets, the longitudinal data sets that come out of the National Center for Education Statistics around adolescents, they never have a very wide range on social and emotional issues. And yet, we all know that especially for adolescents, these social and emotional factors are huge. They're big parts of their lives and they affect their learning. So for me, this was a real opportunity. There's different ways that you can create a representative sample. And one of them is what we, you might think of as geographic coverage, right? We want schools from different states, different um, types of cities, and we definitely did that, right? We definitely took that into account. But we went a little bit beyond the norm by saying, in doing that and getting all that geographic coverage, we want to make sure that there's also schools that are different in other ways, right? Um, and so that's where this issue of, it's not just what the school looks like demographically, but how the school is performing, that's not usually taken into account. When kids are in ninth grade, the clock starts ticking. The, they start earning grades that go into their high school GPA that feeds into their college applications. They start taking courses that are with them forever because they have transcripts that never go away. The growth mindset inherently has its roots in social, right? How you feel, how you think you stand a chance of of um, succeeding or failing. All of that's social. This combination of how is a student developing as a person and the school as a context in which that development will unfold. People knew that the schools would matter and, and teachers matter and that we really needed to understand the different contexts. But then I think as a group we started to flesh out what would that look like? What are the important elements of that context? When we started to work through these social and emotional issues about challenge and stereotypic threat and all the rest of them, it was a real opportunity to look at these things, form measurement scales, and then use them in kinds of predictive models. We don't think mindsets are a replacement for incentives or money or financial aid. We don't think mindsets are a replacement for deeper instructional training. We think they are a necessary component as a part of broader reform. By uh, doing the mindset intervention at the very beginning of high school, we really were leveraging that idea of how cumulative the system is and thinking not so much that mindset would have this sustaining psychological effect that would carry you through the rest of your life and you would never forget it, but that having that intervention at that time will get you on this path that of classes and teachers, expectations of yourself, goals that then feed off of each other and become self-sustaining over time. So we really want to track these kids and figure out where they're going and did mindset, was it the Kickstarter, right, that started this whole sequence that kept, kept students going. The takeaway from the national study is your kids can learn growth mindset and in many cases benefit from it.